Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Nostalgia. Today we're going to be doing Eddie's character quest. We finished up pads last time. In order to get it started, you have to talk to this girl over here. Yeah, what do you want? Okay, so Mr. Evans wants to see us in the East End Warehouse. Yeah, why is he over there? Why isn't he back, you know, in the uh, British Museum? Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just ask whenever we get there. By the way, you can't do this if you didn't talk to him before and get those Cabal plans from the destroyed Siberian base and the Mount Fuji base. So make sure you do that first. Go on down here. There he is. Uh, no problem. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. Okay. Well, why are they watching you? I thought that you guys were kind of on the same side. Yeah, why do we have to sneak around over here and among these boxes and riffraff. <laughs> oh, huh. I wonder why Curator Fogg doesn't like that. I mean, if he's a museum curator, he's in charge of the museum, he wants to gather more, you know, artifacts and objects and things like that of cultural historical significance, why wouldn't he want Mr. Evans and Gilbert to go exploring these ruins? That's kind of odd. Anyway, apparently he found out something about the uh, Cabal's plans. Oh, okay, well, where's that? Oh, Teotihuacan, okay. It's not exactly in the center of the American continent, it's just kind of, uh, it's actually right next to New York, and just a little bit south of the Great Lakes. I don't know why they put it there whenever, in actuality, isn't it like in Mexico or Central America somewhere? That's just kind of odd to me. Okay, so yeah, we gotta go there and stop the Cabal. So, I've already showed you where it is, and um, I just kind of went in there to reveal it. If you can't get this quest to pop up, um, I would just recommend going there and, um, you know, just exploring it, making it pop up as well. Why do I always go inside this stupid house? Ugh, there's nobody ever in there. Anyway, um, if you can't get it to work, just find Teotihuacan, and I'm just gonna meet you there. Okay, here I am, and of course we get straight into a battle. We have some crocodiles here. They have 400 HP, and they are weak against Earth and Dark. Um, but I'm going to try out this new bullet drive skill that I got, and uh, just show it off and see what kind of damage it can do. Hopefully I can kill them in one shot. Hey, yeah, it's so good. I love it. And it allows you to pretty much get an S rank on every single battle that you want to. But I'm not going to really be abusing that um, all that much right now. Anyway, first things first, we're just going to head over to the right because there's some treasure that we can get over here. There's nothing really to the left. And that blue dragon sword, as good as the game blue dragon is, the sword's kind of crappy. So I would not recommend using that right now. And here we have tyrants and poison flowers. Let's see what I want to do. Oh, I'll use fire on them for right now. Most things in here are weak to wind, though, shockingly enough. Anyway, the Poison Flowers have 380 HP, and uh, we'll use a uh, Meteor Shot on these guys. And the Tyrant Flowers, let me see if I can find them, have 400 HP, and all of them are actually weak to Wind, of all things. We'll use a Sonic Wave. Uh, we're going to be seeing tons of Bullet Drive and Supernovas and stuff like that later on in the uh, boss fight that we have coming up. Yeah, like it's such a spoiler alert that there's a boss at the end of, uh, you know, a dungeon. Okay, so let's gonna go left at the first path that we have over here, and we get some treasures. Any day now. Oh, a silk robe, huh? And over here, let's see what we got. An earth jewel. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Fill out this map while I'm, while I'm in here. If I get the maps, you know, I'll, uh, or I should say, if I don't get the maps, I will do them off screen. I'm not gonna do them on screen. But for such a small room like that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, do the map. That refreshing bottle, um, it allows you to heal one person's HP uh, to max. So it's kind of like an X potion, essentially. Now let's keep on going this way. And don't head up. That'll just take you to the previous room that we don't want to go there right now. But we have to go in here and get another treasure and hit yet another switch. That try shot, again, just like the blue dragon sword, isn't so hot. I really like the game Blue Dragon. I loved it. I played the one on the Xbox 360, and then I played the action RPG on the, um, what was that, on the DS. I've got to say, the, um, 
The real-time strategy game? Not so great. I didn't really like that one all that much. These guys have 370 HP, and they are also weak to wind and dark elemental attacks. So Fiona's actually pretty decent with her physical hit right now because her physical hit deals dark elemental damage. Hey, hey, yeah, 95 damage. Let's see how well our wind can do. I didn't really put a lot of points into her wind magic, but it's there. So yeah, if you want to use it, use it. If you don't, don't. It's not that big of a deal. At this point in the game, Melody and Fiona, well, Fiona's still decent because she can heal. Melody sucks. And in fact, I'm going to be using her for something different really soon. So I will be putting her to good use. If you go over here to the left in this third area, we have a coral. Huh. Okay. Huh. I guess so. So do you have anything to, like, give me? Oh, just rumors. Huh. I don't know. Too bad you can't be more helpful, Coral. You're really not that helpful at all, I've got to say. Eh, anyway, go down the left path here, and... Oh, we have another battle with Bigfoot himself! Ooh, first attack. Let's see. Let's actually show off uh, Blue Whirlwind. It allows you to attack twice in a row. We'll give that to Eddie. Anyway, the Bigfoots have 410 HP, and um, they don't have any weaknesses. Uh, let's see, against you, I don't know, I'll use random shot. Why not? We'll just get some extra shots in, see if it does any good. Eh, random shot kind of sucks at this point. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna have Melody attack. I mean, like she does 90 damage with her attack, and her magic spells do about 90 damage. So you really might as well just have her attack. And that being said, we'll use hyper attack with Eddie. And that will get everybody's attack power up, and then I'll probably just use combo attack for right now um, to deal some decent damage against this guy. Hopefully that will do him in. Hey, hey, awesome! Now you haven't had to cut out a single battle yet. Shockingly enough, we're actually, you know, encountering all the monsters here. Who knew? And then we get a dragon cloak. We've got some new equipment now, so let's go check out the new stuff that we got. Let's see. For the cowboy hat, I want to give that one to Pad. It's actually halfway decent. It lowers his defense by a bit, but it raises his magic defense and his evasion. So I think it's a good trade-off. And uh, we also got that dragon cloak right there. And that's decent. I like it because um, of all the resistances. It lowers the magic defense and it lowers her evasion, but resistant to paralysis, poison, and strong against fire and water? Hey, I'll take it. Um... The silk robe that we got here sucks. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about it. And again, the other weapons that we got for Eddie and Pad, you got better stuff. So just hit this just to get some uh, healing from that. I'm not going to bother saving on screen. I'll save off screen. Who really cares? And let's head on inside. Oh, hey, it's the uh, Cabal. <laughs> we don't know why you're here or what you're doing, but we know that you're up to no good and we're totally going to stop you. Yeah. Oh, what is your D plan? Can you tell us that? Emperor Terra. We've heard about him before, or her before. I don't really know. I'm going to assume it's him because they're not calling Empress Terra. It's Emperor. What's going on? Whoa! Holy crap! Yeah, it's like a dinosaur or something. Diablo, the king of the dinosaurs. Oh, it's not just any dinosaur. It's the king! Oh, lovely. Ah! <laughs> I love how the dinosaur was like, Fuck you, I'm not going to follow your orders. He just whacks the crap out of him with his tail. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, and it's boss time against Diablo himself. And he has 3,500 HP. And uh, basically just use bullet drive with pad every chance that you get. So now we'll get a chance to show that off as well. But the thing is with him is he has only 18 defense power and he has 150 magic defense power. So, yeah. Just use her to use speed break on him. That lowers his agility so we get more accuracy and things like that. So that could come in pretty handy. And then you want to use Blue Whirlwind on Eddie every single chance that you get, giving him extra turns. With his extra turns, we can use a hyper attack. Awesome. And then we're going to use a hyper attack. <laughs> yeah, just keep it up. So that stacks, and it's so nice. But he's also going to raise his defense power and his attack power and everything else with his roar. So that's pretty crappy. Now that we've done that, 
we're going to use Supernova, Eddie's cooperative skill. And I haven't really put any points into that, uh, but it is really nice and it deals a little bit more damage than combo attack. Yeah, that's good. So here with Melody, since she sucks, she's going to be my healer. She is my designated healer for this battle. Pretty much at this point in the game, Melody and Fiona totally switch roles. Uh, what you're going to want to do with each of them is Fiona is going to be giving either Eddie or Pad extra turns, and Melody is going to be your healer. So stock up on items, and you should have plenty of money in order to do this. If you've been flying in high altitude, and you've been revealing the world maps like I did between this episode and last episode, I have something like 200,000 gold, which will allow you to buy as many healing items as you will ever need. Buy the, uh, I think it's like the Mega Heal Leap, and that allows you to heal 200 HP for all party members. And then the other one that she's using right now is the Mega Heal Bottle, which is 200 HP to one party member. And that's pretty much essentially what Fiona can deal with her um, healing spells anyway. That Flame of Destruction sucks, so it's kind of nice whenever he uses it there. Uh, we'll use that one on, let's see, Eddie's getting his turn first, so we'll go ahead and use it on him. Melody has yet another turn coming up where she really can't do much of anything. So, I, let me just show you. So, the fire spell is a spell that I've actually put points into. So let's see how much damage it actually does to this guy. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Melody sucks! So, <laughs> There's really no other way that I can put it. If you have Eddie and Pad doing 500 to 600 damage, 700 something damage, and then you have Melody dealing seven damage, there's a balance issue in your game. So yeah, Melody is be pretty much going to be your item user. And honestly, I would also use her to restore MP. MP for Eddie and Pad. Uh, whenever they get low on MP from using their cooperative skills against bosses. But this is pretty much what boss battles come down to. Hey, you got A rank. Nice! Um, yeah, all of your plans fail. Yeah, no kidding. That is a good question, I've gotta say. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, if you say so, I guess so. Yeah, uh, that's true. We would live in, like, utopia. That'd be kind of nice, I've got to say. So why don't we all just reject fighting and, you know, live and let live? Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, everything's a okay Okay, we can go on back to London, tell Mr. Evans everything that happened, and get a reward. But first, there's actually a monster that appears in this room, and only in this room. It's the only place in the entire game that it appears. So I'm going to run around in circles until I get the air gin to appear. Well, here's one new enemy, the Mandragoras. We didn't see them earlier. Uh, we'll just use Bullet Drive and get rid of them. Uh, let's see, they have 340 HP and they're not weak to anything. Uh, there's actually a lot of enemies that appear in this dungeon, I've got to say. Um, so if, if I find anything else on the way while I'm looking for this air channel, I'll show them. Why not? Ooh, nice! Hey, there's the Irijin. Came right after the Mandragoras. Awesome. Uh, let's see. They are only weak to fire, so we'll show it off and see how much damage she can actually do with her fire spell. Oh, 137. Hmm. Um, they also have, let's see, 750 HP, and of course, they're weak to dark. Pretty much every single enemy. If they have an elemental weakness, they have that weakness, and they have a weakness to dark as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. And if you're having problems finding this guy, you could always equip the Demon Claw, which raises your encounter rate. Anyway, we've done that. Let's head on back to London. Uh, went pretty good, except that we got attacked by a huge ancient dinosaur. Yeah, the king of the dinosaurs. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, no kidding. Well, no thanks to you, Melody. All you did was sit there and heal us, because you really can't do anything, because the game designers royally fucked up with magic defense. Now, what's going on? Yeah, why doesn't he have any helpers? Why is it just him? It's, you know, him against the world. It's like Britney Spears. <laughs> 
God, leave it to me to bring a Britney Spears in a Let's Play. Good lord. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, a crystal skull. Huh. I actually watched a couple documentaries on, like, those ancient crystal skulls from, like, Mesoamerica or whatever that are kind of popping up around the world. Although, I... It's been a couple years since I watched those documentaries, but I want to say that the consensus was that they were forgeries. But I'm not entirely sure. Prove me wrong if you want to. Look it up yourselves. I'm not really sure. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, don't even worry about it. But it was really interesting. I love watching those documentaries and things like that. Okay, well, all you had to do was, you know, give birth to us and walk next door to the neighbor's house, and boom, hey, you got two of them already. Uh, no problem. So, let's go ahead and check out that uh, crystal school that we just got. Let's see. Increases all resistances. Ooh, that's pretty nice. And I've got to say, you would normally equip it on Eddie because his magic defense power is the least out of all four characters. I mean, the girls have tons of magic defense. But Pad doesn't have all that much either. But the thing is, is that what I have equipped on Eddie right now, as far as his gadgets are concerned, is a really good combination. Pad, on the other hand, doesn't really have all that great of a setup. And his Dragon Killer's Gem, I pretty much just killed the dragon-type boss. So that's pretty much outlived its usefulness, and I'm going to give him the Crystal Skull. And next time on Let's Play Nostalgia, we're going to move on, try to find Harvard, and head on into the Amazon rainforest. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.